Semper Fi, everyone. Welcome to the latest installment of Recon Jack. I'm your host, U.S. Marine veteran and historian Chuck Lynch. The more I thought about the brave men who ferociously fought during the Battle of Bella Wood, I decided that I couldn't wait any longer for part two of that episode, its conclusion. So let's fix bayonets, man our rifles and machine guns as we continue to assault against the enemy. The 4th Marine Brigade is now at a deadlock with the German infantry. Beginning at midnight on 8 June 1918, a German assault is forcefully halted and the Marines counterattack is subsequently ended later that morning. Major Sibley's 3rd Battalion of the 6th Marine Regiment, having suffered nearly 400 casualties at this point, is relieved by the 1st Battalion 6th Marine Regiment with Major Maurice E. Shear taking command of the 3rd Battalion 5th Marine Regiment for the wounded Major Benjamin S. Barry. The following day, a tremendous American and French artillery barrage bombardment destroys Bellawood, transforming the once beautiful hunting preserve into a myriad of shell craters and splintered trees. The German forces return fire into the towns nearby and restructure their defensive positions amongst Bella Wood. On the morning of 10 June, Major Hughes's 1st Battalion, 6th Marine Regiment, along with components of the 6th Machine Gun Battalion, assault northbound into the forest. Despite the fact that this assault originally appears to be successful, it is interrupted and halted by enemy machine gun fire. In an attempt to take out the German machine gun nest hidden in a quarry in the woods, Major Edward Ball Cole, commanding the 6th Machine Gun Battalion, is mortally wounded whilst throwing back a German potato masher hand grenade. He will survive for eight days following, but eventually succumbs to his wounds while being treated in a field hospital near the rear. For his actions, Major Cole is posthumously awarded the Navy Cross, the Army's Distinguished Service Cross, the Chevalier of the Legion of Honor of France, as well as a Croix de Guerre with Palm. Captain Harlan E. Major, who is the senior most captain present, takes charge of the battalion. The German forces counterattack with large amounts of mustard gas, and the 2nd Battalion, 5th Marine Regiment, under the command of Major Frederick Wise, is given the order to assault Bellawood from the west, while Major Hughes and his Marines proceed with an attack from the south. At 0400, again, that's 4 a.m. for you civvies out there. On 11 June, Major Weiss and his Marines cut through thick morning fog toward Bella Wood. Supported by the 23rd and 77th Companies of the 6th Machine Gun Battalion, as well as components of the 2nd Battalion 2nd Engineers, and are unfortunately gunned down by heavy enemy fire. Individual platoons become cut off from one another, subsequently resulting in heavy casualties from well-positioned German machine gun crossfire. To the misfortune of the battalion, it pushes forward in the wrong direction. Instead of moving northeast, the Marines had advanced straight across the woods' narrow waist. Nevertheless, the Marines managed to destroy the German southern defensive positions and a German private whose company only remained with 30 of its original original 120 soldiers wrote, we have Americans opposite of us who are terribly reckless fellows. Don't you just love his wording in that statement? Between 13 to 14 June, during an intense enemy bombardment with high explosive and gas shells, which wounds and or kills many members of the company, Gunnery Sergeant Fred William Stockham, upon noticing that the gas mask of fellow wounded Barrack Mattingly was shot away without hesitation, he removed his own gas mask and insisted upon giving it to the wounded the Marine, well knowing that the effects of the gas would become fatal to him. He continued with undaunted courage and valor to direct and assist in the evacuation of the wounded until he himself collapsed from the effects of the gas, dying as a result, unfortunately, thereof a few days later. His courageous conduct undoubtedly saved the lives of many Marines, and his conspicuous gallantry and spirit of self-sacrifice were a source of great inspiration to all those who served amongst him. 
Altogether, the Marines would assault Bella Wood a total of six times until the Germans are completely repelled, having fought off parts of five German divisions, often resulting in the use of eliminating the enemy with no more than bayonets or their own fists in intense hand-to-hand -hand fighting. On 26 June, Major Shearer and his men of 3rd Battalion, 5th Marine Regiment, supported by two companies of the 4th Machine Gun Battalion, as well as the 15th Company of the 6th Machine Gun Battalion, Battalion, make a final assault on Bella Wood, which successfully voids it of any remaining German forces. On this day, Major Scheer writes and hands in an after action report, which simply states, Woods, now U.S. Marine Corps entirely. And this marks the end of one of the costliest and deadliest battles in which American forces will fight throughout World War I. The battle itself would not be surpassed by casualties within the Marine Corps until that of Tarawa in late November 1943 and the Battle of Iwo Jima during February and March 1945. The battle mounts a total of U.S. forces suffering 9,977 casualties, of which 1,811 are killed. Unfortunately, there is no definitive knowledge of the total German soldier killed, though 1,600 were captured as prisoners of war. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Recon Jack. Perhaps you learned something new. I will return yet again with the conclusion of this episode following the U.S. Marines after the Battle of Bella Wood. Please stay tuned for more episodes as I continue to explore the hallowed history, traditions, and individuals of the United States Marine Corps. And feel free to like this video, subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and please leave a comment in the section below. I really enjoy interacting with you folks. Also, be sure to tell a friend or family member, and until next time, Semper Fi, and carry on.